Hello, my name's Stuart, and today we're going to install Common Com and set it up with Win4 Icom. I think it'll also work with Win4 Yesu and other programs as well. Uh, the chances are, if you're watching this video, you already know wh why you need it, uh, so let's just get straight into it. I will cover how to solve the problem of an unsigned driver on Windows 10 as well. So if, you've, if you're having that problem, stick around and we will get there eventually. Okay, so first things first. We need to go to Google and type in null modem emulator. Ignore the advert at the top. That's for a different software. That's for a paid system. We don't want that. Go down to the first normal organic result and it's at source forge. And then it's a null modem emulator download. So we'll go there and just click on the download button. You'll get a zip file. Okay, so it's opened up over here. So this is the download. We're going to extract that just wherever it wants to go. And then we're going to run the 64 bit uh, installation it says it's signed but that might not be the case okay so we'll run the 64-bit installation wizard and we will tick that bottom box or well, you don't have to do this now but we will it will save us a step later on just install in the default locations allow anything to run if you get prompted to you know enable something then just allow it and we'll launch the setup there we go so it has worked we've got a com port and uh, so when you open yours you'll only have one of these boxes i've already got it installed so uh, it's come up with a new pair but essentially the fact that you're seeing this here and it's saying com five six seven eight nine ten whatever it says doesn't matter the fact that it's there and it's got a com number that means it's installed and it's worked that's all you need to do you don't need to do anything else this is now running in the background now i'm quickly going to cover if this hasn't worked at this point if you're on windows 10 this might not have worked so if that's the case what you need to do is go to this uh, website here so it's Pete's blog <laughs> Pete's obviously a developer and he's uh, created a signed version of the driver required to make this system work uh, the bottom line is you need to Google Pete's blog and the web address is there Pete uh, dot a k e o dot i e so yeah just go to that location click on here that's now downloading a 7-zip file this could be a problem if you haven't got 7-zip installed or winzip or something uh, you'll need to go and install that uh, so so we i'm using winrar to unzip this so you might need to install winrar uh, to one be able to get into this file so we're just going to open it up and we're going to click on extract to We'll copy that location, just click OK. I'll go to my file browser and we'll just open up that location. So there we go. We've unzipped uh, this Pete's uh, blog files. We'll go into X64. And all you need to do is go into there, right click on this INF one and click on install. I don't need to do this, and if I do, it'll break my installation that I've already got, but if you're on Windows 10 and the previous steps didn't work, as in when you opened up or when you got this screen, you've just got com hash or something like that. That means the driver hasn't installed, and you need to do this additional step of getting this signed driver, right click and install. And once you've done that installation step, you may need to restart your computer and then happy days, everything should work normally. So if you go into the start menu and type setup, you'll find this little thing with this little funny icon. So comma com will just run in the background and you don't really need to do anything with it once it's set up. So all we need to know is within comma com, we've got these pairs. We've got seven and eight, we've got five and six, and we've got nine and 10. Win for icon, which I've featured in another video, does support Comocom. So if we go into Tools, Settings, Third Party, within here, I've got this set to COM port 5. So it's coming out of Win for icon on COM port 5, and it's going into Comocom on COM port 5. The way this works, OmniRig talks to Comocom, Comocom talks to Win for icon and win for icom is talking to my radio through this setting here. The chances are that if you're watching this video about Comocom, you already understand the problem that it's trying to solve, so I'm not going to go into that too much, but this is how you install it, this is how you get over the unsigned driver issue. 
so there we go thanks for watching the video i hope that's helped somebody out i uh, helped uh, a couple of people out this uh, last week or so doing exactly this on their machine they were having problems with the unsigned driver on windows 10 so i followed these exact steps and managed to get it working for them so it should work for you as well thanks for watching bye bye